Patrick Baldwin Jr. Six foot nine, six foot ten ish guy with a seven foot two wingspan that the Warriors just got. Man, hybrid small forward, power forward, like a small ball four. Can take you off the dribble. He has a pretty jump shot. <clears throat> you know, he struggled in, in this college season. You know, uh, shot like 26%. He played on a hurt ankle, some ankle issues, but you know, we're pretty good with uh, dudes with uh, ankle issues, Stephen Curry, you know. But he's going to get stronger, bigger. Everything will get better at his game. Going to have a higher IQ being around like Steph and Dre, you know. Like, it's on, man. Patrick Baldwin Jr. I'm ha I'm excited about this pick. You know, I think he can be a good late round gym. Pick number 28, kind of like Jordan Poole. And he kind of like a six foot nine Jordan Poole. In terms of like off the dribble is his ball handling skills. <coughs> You know, in the post, it's kind of like Carmelo, Michael Porter type. I like the way he, like, shoots and the way he can score in the post. Kind of a little bit of that. And he can play without the ball. I mean, I saw him running off screens. Like, and that's what we do. See, that's like Jordan Poole, 6'9", Jordan Poole. You know, Curry can do it. Clay can do it, of course. But, man, he can be another P, 6'9", with length like that. The future star in the lineup. Could look a little something like Jordan Poole, Moses Moody in the backcourt, <clears throat> Wiseman at center, Wiggins at the three, <clears throat> Kaminga at the four. <clears throat> it's a lot of length and strength, athleticism, skill. Um, freaking oh yeah, and Patrick uh, Patrick Baldwin, he can be the sixth man of the future. <clears throat> Imagine having a guy six foot nine like that with those skill set coming off the bench. Who's guarding him? Come on now, off the bench, man. He's a bucket. Bucket mobile, man. Dude got skills to pay the bills, but you know, Draymond Green's gonna work with him, and I can't wait. Draymond will work with him, man. It's gonna be on and popping, y'all. Um she she got length to play D. See, Warriors love these wings. I love that. And I called it to us. I said, we need a small forward guy. You know, a small forward to replace Otto Porter. <clears throat> you know. And I think he's going to be that guy. You know, he's probably going to be the, uh, probably Wiggins. Wiggins, Kaminga, slash Baldwin. And at the four for the Warriors, it's going to be green, of course. Uh, Kaminga's probably going to be a, probably like a, a backup to Wiggins and green. And then Baldwin can be like a backup to Green, too. It's going to be like we got Kaminga and Baldwin as backup forwards for both spots. I like that. But I want to bring back Otto Porter, you know, a 3 and D guy. You know, you got to be a little more healthy, but we got a bright future, man. Sheesh. You know, we got so much talent. Length like that, <clears throat> we can be able to switch. You know, going to teach him some switching skills, you know. Hopefully he can be like a Kavan, how Kavan Looney was early in his career as far as like guarding the guards. You know, Looney is, is, is a good defender and stuff, you know. He got, he's 6'9", with 72 wingspan himself. But he's more, but this guy's more agile than him. You know, he got a little bit more, you know, he's got a little more skill set. That's all like ball handling, the shooting. I'm sorry, his shooting's going to get better. He's going to work with the Splash Trio. Steph, Clay, and Pull. It's going to be on. NBA, he let another one slip to the Warriors. You know, he, he got high upside. You know, he got to get better at some stuff. No question about that. But, um, you know, this is kind of like, this is kind of like how the Niners drafted Jalen Hurd. Like, you know, like a highly talented player who kind of falls because of different reasons, injuries. They want to take a chance because they're, they want that home run. They're not worried about a strikeout. They're worried about a home run. That's what the Niners did with Jalen Hurd. You know, it, it, didn't, it didn't go in their favor, but they tried. That's what the Warriors are probably doing here. Except, I think this guy has a chance to obviously be more healthy. Because basketball is not as bad as football in terms of pain. So, that's what I think. That's what I think. Um, like I said, he's going to be able to guard these big wings in the league. Switch on these uh, athletic point guards. Point guards are getting better, and they always gonna be able to score. If you can have another six nine guy to cover up with a seven two wingspan, he gonna change a lot of shots. 
Whew. So yeah, Wiggins six eight, Camino like six eight, Scott six nine, Wiseman seven one, long arms. Who got a bright future, man? The NBA, y'all gonna be hating more and more and more. Warriors, man, we got a gym, y'all. <clears throat> what do you guys think of the draft pick though? You know what I'm saying? Like like my tat right here. Do we got a diamond in the rough? Got a diamond in the rough like that? What's up, man? I'm just saying. I, I, I'm, I'm fired up. Big time fired up, y'all. Athletic dude like that. He gonna guard anybody out there. Anybody. He gonna learn from the best bets. He gonna take probably Damian Lee spot. And hopefully we get a back. Well, hopefully we get a vet, enough another vet two guard, backup Clay, or give Clay a lot of rest. I know we got Moody. Moody's gonna be another backup too. We got a squad. Y'all hating? Raise your hand if you hating. Ah, Patrick Baldwin, y'all. Man, another another gym. I'm telling you, this is gonna be the next Jordan Poole, six nine dude, a six nine Jordan Poole off the dribble. That's what he is because you know pool struggle with his jump shot early on he got better at it this dude can do the same thing and then he has a highlight where he's doing a no look like three like Steph it's like oh my gosh you know he's like this looking at the bench Woo, he fits in already and y'all gonna be hating hating even more and I'm happy because that means we're winning we're gonna be a bench piece man we're gonna be the best 10th guy off the bench in the whole NBA next year. You know, I mean, that's, that's what I think of his skill set because, you know, Damian Lee, he, he can't have his minutes. And then uh, Kaminga is going to get better, of course, Moody. You know, Wiseman going to get playing time. But he can take Otto Porter's spot just in case we do lose him. Bella Gico, hopefully we keep them. I want to keep the whole squad. I want to keep GP2 as well. But this dude, the Warriors version of Jalen Hurd. Mm hmm. That's what he is. High upside. If it works, it's going to work tremendously. You know. But yeah, man, he can pass too. Skill set, dynamic, y'all. Warrior fans, where you at? NBA fans, where you at, man? Y'all worry we might have another gym? Whew. Bucket. Bucket getter. So yeah, y'all. You guys know what to do. Like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Let's do the bucket. Michael Porter, mellow in the post. A little Jordan Poolish. <laughs> Off the dribble. 7 2 wingspan. Big time recruit coming out of high school. We had a little ankle issues, but we'll fix it. We'll fix it. Got the best band aids around in the Bay Area. Feel me? I'm just playing. Obviously, got to be more than a Band-Aid, but you know what I'm saying, man. He's going to be a splash, quadruplet. Eventually, I'm telling you. We're going to have a 6'9 dude shooting like that, 6'10. Not, not just 6'3 Steph, 6'4 uh, Pool, 6'6 Clay. We're going to have a 6'9 dude like that. Ooh, y'all worried yet? Let me know. Let me know, y'all. Let me know.